magical. Hello there, people of the world. Today I have something very special for you. I have got my beautiful Russian baby. Her name is Olga. She is a Krasnogorsk 3. It's one of the, the later models of the Krasnogorsk series and it is a 16 millimeter camera. But what we're doing with it today, specifically, we are going to convert it to Super 16. There's essentially three things you're gonna need. Two screwdrivers, ideally one of them should be magnetic, magnetic. and also you're gonna need a Super 16 gate. But I'll show you the comparison between this and the old gate. Uh, and this also comes with some extra screws, which is nice in case I lose any. Something very important that you do before you actually start opening up your camera to the inside is that you make sure that the whole camera has completely been wound down and is not running anymore. Like that. Simply because, and I know this because I made the same mistake, is that if you crank it up and then you decide to open it, basically the spring inside there is going to wind itself all the way to the bottom as fast as it can. And honestly, it's a fucking terrifying sound. Like seriously, like I almost broke my camera, but luckily I didn't wind it up too much. If you're ever doing it, make sure it's, it's run out completely because it might destroy your camera when you take off the base plate of it. There it is inside, nice and beautiful. Also take the lens off as well. So essentially, this is what it looks like. Uh, you'll have several screws, one here, here, one here, here, one down here, there and there. To get to this one in particular, you're gonna have to remove this here. Oh yeah, and always make sure that you have a, a safe place for it because they can get lost very, very easily. Okay, now you just just have to wiggle it just so you can essentially just walk it out. Son of a bitch, you got to unlock the fucking thing. How do you do that though? Because I can't reach it. Gosh, I should have fucking done that. Fuck me. Guess what happened? Um, I forgot to tell you guys that basically this little black thing right here, this is fixed to uh, whatever's holding it underneath here and it's got to be loosened before you can take the rest of the plate off itself. But there are two little screws on the inside here. All right. Uh, and you just have to basically loosen them a bit. Don't take it out fully, but just so this little black thing can now wiggle around on its own. But it's a fucking pain in the ass to try and get these things because it's, oh shit in hell. It's hard as hell to actually try and find the screws in this thing because you have to turn the motor until you can access them and the, the holes are, are so tiny you can barely fit anything. I, I had to use some like super sharp scissors with, with a pointy edge just to get inside and unscrew the tiny little screws. So now we can just take off the screws and start again for like the third fucking time. All right, that's all of them. Yes, yeah, so and now we can just start to walk this little plate off and it should just pop off quite nicely, actually. We can now walk this bad boy out and reveal the innards of Olga's organs and shit. Something very important. This little gear here, oh shit, I cut myself on something somehow fuck me this little gear right here this this needs to be kept safe and you'll have to take it off it should be right here in between these three little hooks this is probably the most fiddly process because you have to put it onto these hooks and also match the little oh fuck also match the little square down here with the little square on the wheel Otherwise you won't be able to hook it on properly and then you just won't be able to use it. And you can tell because when you crank the lever, you're not gonna hear any clicks. It's just gonna like wind and then immediately spin back down to the bottom. So you have to make sure you gotta put it on right. Anyway, we will start by putting on the gate. Get your little magnetic knife and then just take out all these screws as so. Yes, did it, got them all. all right, so this has just come off now. Come on then, time to pop off. 
fuck me, I'm going to have to watch a YouTube video. So this is the back of it. So notice this little, uh, this little bolt right here, this little washer. That will, will be right there. All right, here's the original 16 millimeter gate. Huff, you didn't even fucking show how you took it out. God, what the fuck? Oh, gotcha. You fucking, okay. You got to, you got to pry it a bit. On the left, Super 16, this one here. Morais is the original standard 16. The uh, Super 16 is obviously wider, so it's gonna have a bigger space when it imprints onto the film. Super 16 film has only one set of perforations instead of the normal two, or the original two. And with just the one perforation on the side of the film, that is what allows for the extra image, let's say. All right, so now we gotta put this fucking thing on. Gonna be fun. Ready for some screwing. Your precision magnetic screwdriver is what you need for this. Why are you such a fucking ball lick? Fuck you, you fucking cunt. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this thing requires a lot of patience. Again, the important thing is you have to make sure that for a start, all of the sharp end, ed, ed, edges are pointing this way so they can hook onto the little clamps here. And also make sure it fits nicely like this. First time I tried to do this, it confused the absolute fuck out of me because I think I had to take it or like take the base plate off maybe like four or five times until I actually got it right just because I wasn't landing it properly. And I think kind of the best way to do it, try and keep it in the same position when you take it off from this little wheel here and then flip it over. Wait. Nah, I've already confused myself. Well whatever. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it and until I figure it out and then well pff, you know if you get your own K3 and you wanna do this, good luck to you. Uh, let's put the screws back in first and see. After what seemed like a fucking billion years. I actually finally managed to get the plate on correctly. It all seems to be working fine. Because I can crank it. You hear that? That's what you want to be listening to. That's the crank. And it all seems to be moving nice and smoothly. There we go. All uh, fine and dandy. So yeah, after that, just put it back on, put your lens on, and then throw it in the cupboard until you can actually afford to buy yourself some film. Uh, now, this is a Super 16 Krasnogorsk, which is uh, very exciting. I've got a roll of uh, expired 16mm film that I want to shoot with and then see how that turns out. But do hold on to your original gate though, because I mean, <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to convert it back. I mean, you know, it's a lovely format to shoot in four by three, you know, many popular movies do it these days, but it's, it's just it's such a fucking pain in the ass just to manually change change it on, on this camera. You might as well just crop it in post, fix it in post, way. But yeah, uh, hold on to these. Um, don't lose them because they are quite valuable. You are definitely going to need it. And oh fuck! God! Oh, that hit me in the face. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you call it educational? This educational video, and I'll see you. Well, hopefully not in this situation again. So uh, yeah. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Pip, pip, cheerio.